Okay. With regular students, that uh, from there everything led. Uh, at that point, you know, because I had retired fighting, and while I was fighting, I, I got fighters coming to me like Brian Johnston, who wanted to fight because, you know, I fought, so he wanted to fight. So I trained him for boxing. I took him into the, you know, I used to take a lot of boxers, uh, a lot of my students into boxing matches at the, like the Cow Palace, the Golden Gloves. And a lot of them would win the titles. Brian Johnson was one of them. He he won the heavyweight, super heavyweight, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Golden Glove Championship. From that point, Brian wanted to take it further than that, and he asked me what his chances of being a good boxer was because he was 26. I said, in boxing, you really have to start young if you really want to have a career in that. So he said, well, forget that. I I don't want to do that. So it was I want to be in the UFC, which at that time the UFC was not well known, but it just started breaking grounds in like 1993. So basically, what I did is I had contact with Art Davy, who was the matchmaker back then with. Uh, uh, you know, with the UFC, and I told him that I had a fighter, and um, basically, uh, Brian Johnston got into the UFC based on my my say so and uh, Mike Swain, who was a good friend of mine. We we basically vouched for Brian being in the UFC. We didn't really know what the hell we were doing, and when we when we got in there, obviously we knew it was a whole different world. Uh, the Gracies really exposed everybody to what their arts were, and that there's big holes in their weak in their arts and, and uh, as a result of what they did everybody if you wanted to compete at the highest level of real you know unarmed combat or fighting you really had to be involved and learn their system in order to be successful um, there's no better proof than what they have done and and having real competitions and they always prevailed because you know the Gracie Jiu Jitsu system at that time was unbeatable and you know it's like they always said you need to use their system if you're going to beat them and and I, I agree that they're 100 percent correct if you didn't have their system you weren't going to beat them and now mostly everybody has their system so now it's become more of a sport you know uh, rather than a one individual uh, family run uh, ruling the, the the fighting in the in the mixed martial arts. Choke, Choke out, out cancer. cancer.